It's 3 o'clock, time for the Hour of Mercy broadcast here on Annunciation Radio. Thank you for joining us. We'll begin first with the recitation of the Divine Mercy Chaplet, live and interactive. Following the recitation of the Divine Mercy Chaplet, we'll... Uh, mass will occur. Mass was recorded this morning at Rosary Cathedral, the 7 a.m. Mass from Rosary Cathedral. Again, you are always invited to attend in person, 7 a.m. each weekday. We thank Monsignor Kabaki for allowing us to record uh, the Mass each morning so that we can air it during this time for those of you who cannot attend in person. Following Mass, we'll have Sister Ann Shields and the program Food for the Journey. My name is Dave Vastris, joined by my wife, Eileen. Hello, Eileen. Hi, David. Hello, everyone. And as I said, we'll begin first with the recitation of the Divine Mercy Chaplet. I know you've got some prayer requests there ready to go, Eileen. I wanted to invite folks to call if you have a prayer request that you would like to have included today. That telephone number to call 419-868-2966. 419-868-2966. Anything on your heart or mind uh, producer Tim is here to answer the phone. Ron is here as well. Uh, give us a call and we can include them as we pray today. Any burden that you're carrying with you, why not share that with us that we might all pray together. Again, 419-868-2966. And with that, we begin our prayer today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I know you've got some prayer requests there, Eileen. Yes, Alice is asking for prayers for the repose of the soul of her friend Susan Wissinghausen, who passed away this past Friday. Yeah, and we thank you, Lord, for Susan. And in particular, uh, anyone who listens to the morning show on Wednesdays, uh, we have been uh, receiving jokes from Sue for quite some time. Sue uh, brought a lot of humor into a lot of people's lives. And uh, Alice would pass those jokes on to us, as would Father Mark Davis, who is also a recipient of Sue's daily uh, jokes via text. And so, Father, I thank you for Sue. I thank you for her life. I thank you for the many ways that she served you. I pray for all of those uh, who are um, mourning her loss. Uh, what a wonderful, big, gigantic life Sue lived. And now she's encountered you face to face, but she is someone that when they're not present with you any longer, there is a great loss there for those of us who are remaining behind here on earth, particularly her family and her friends. And so I ask that you comfort them and that, Father, that you would continue to build on the yeses that Sue uh, gave during her lifetime, the many times that she was kind, the many times that she brought laughter into people's lives, the many times that she brought love into people's lives, that you would continue to build on those uh, on those times, those fingerprints that she has left behind, and ask that uh, through the death and resurrection of your Son Jesus Christ, the grace and mercy bought from, bought by that uh, sacrifice of His, that she would be welcomed into your kingdom. All right. Um, prayers of uh, request from Dory and Deacon Chuck, and all of the team at EWT and Viewer Services Religious Catalog who have asked for prayers for the repose of the soul of their colleague and friend, Martha, who passed away at 7 a.m. this morning. Mm, And that's uh, your team, Eileen, the team that you work with every day. And uh, we do pray for Martha. I know we had prayed for her a little while ago. We knew that she was in a difficult position from a health perspective. But anything you want to say about your friend as we... Uh, prepare to pray for the repose of her soul. Well, everybody that she worked with at EWTN mentions the beautiful smile, the glow on her face, and the happiness she would approach every single day. She came to EWTN from Columbia, South America, because of her love of Mother Angelica and her love of the Blessed Mother and our Lord. And she is just a lovely, lovely lady. Mm. And Father, we thank you for her life. We thank you for her devotion. Thank you for her joy, her willingness to serve, even crossing the globe uh, to serve uh, the ministry of EWTN out of her love, fidelity, devotion to Mother Angelica, and ultimately to you. I thank you that as we prayed uh, for her healing several days ago, that you heard us and your perfect plan was already in place. I thank you. 
for that ultimate healing. Father, I thank you for that ultimate healing, that healing that takes place when we are home free with you. When the pain has gone away, when the distress has gone away, when all of the frustrations have gone away and we behold you face to face. This daughter of yours, this daughter who served you, this daughter who walked in love and in joy because of her relationship with you who got to serve in a ministry that she believed so strongly in. I thank you for that final healing when we are held in your arms, Lord. I thank you that you comforted her during those moments when when she was preparing to meet you. And now I ask that you would comfort all of those who are so distressed and missing her so badly today. Just ask that you would do the same for them, that you would hold them, comfort them, and assure them that she has seen you, that you have seen her, that the one that she encountered in this world, she now has beheld with unveiled face. I ask that again by your grace, by your mercy, out of your love for Martha, that you would welcome her into your kingdom and continue to build on all of the gifts that you used her to do in this world, that all of those things would continue to be built upon from now until the time that you come back to this world, that her good works would not be forgotten, that her good attitude, that her holy presence would not be forgotten, but that it would continue to be built upon on this earth as she celebrates you in the eternal kingdom. All right. Thank you, Dave, for that. And let's pray for the people in the submarine that has been displaced at or near the wreckage of the Titanic. Psalm 130, out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Mm, I can't think of anything more appropriate than that, Eileen. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. We pray for the individuals, the five individuals that are in that uh, lost submarine. And, um, Father, we don't know what the result of that is, but you do. You know exactly what they are encountering, what they have encountered, and all we can do is come before your throne and pray for a miracle. Pray that they are found. Pray that they uh, find their way back to the surface. Um, But, Father, we just ask, even if it's already passed, we ask for their comfort and peace in the midst of this very chaotic situation. No matter what the result is, There had to have been times of absolute um, fear. And so we just ask that our prayers would comfort them during those times, whether they are past or current. Uh, You are outside time. We just ask that our prayers would be, that they would be comforted by the prayers that we are praying even now. And so, Father, we come before your throne. We place before you these prayer requests, those that we have Uh, said aloud those that we each carry about in our own hearts and minds. We do pray. I wanted to pray as well. Um, Deacon Mike Learned, one of our founders, has had some issues, fell off a ladder and is recovering from that. And Father, you know his heart, his heart of service for you. Just ask that you would give him comfort, peace, and strength during this, his time of recovery. Pray for his wife, Chris, as well as she takes care of him. And then again, we want to pray for Uh, Bill Rossini, a member of the Annunciation Radio team who has a procedure tomorrow on his bladder. Just pray, Father, for those who will be performing this procedure and pray that he will get the relief uh, that this procedure is intended to have. And so for all of these requests, we place them before your throne confidently as we pray. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, As a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity, of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence Submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. St. Faustina, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us for this recitation of the Divine Mercy Chaplet. If you have a prayer request, you can share those with us at any time via email, chapletprayer at gmail.com. Chapletprayer at gmail.com.